Cue the music. Tis your boy Gangstyle and welcome to a very interesting and ever so reoccurring game in this uh, channel. First off, let's go spicy. Oh, it's a spicy meat the ball. Yes, I am a hundred percent certain about this decision. Hmm. This looks new. Uh. Oh yeah, this is giving me Sega Genesis vibe. Stage 1! I remembered this game I used to play. Nobody at school had it. But I was super into it for some reason. It was called Death Man. It was a side-scrolling action game. It was like a clone of one of those famous Japanese games. But it was so cool. These aliens from the planet Death take over Earth, and they print the human scores on their arms. Intelligence and beauty. If either score drops below 100, they get killed. A murder show begins. But one man put a stop to this terrible game. That's right, it's Death Man. Death Man fights against the Death Aliens. To protect the planet Earth, he kills off all ten of the top evil Death Aliens. Then, when he kills General Death at the end, Death Man reveals his true identity. Who really is Death Man? How did it end? I can't remember. I totally forgot. The mystery of Death Man is still unsolved for me. But that's about to change. A remake version was released. Now I can finally find out who Death Man really is. Finally! It's the last boss, the General Death. Well then, let's kick some ass in an old school game, shall we? Death. Gotta find the magic s mighty sword. Too easy. As it should be for an old school game. Being that I'm an old school gamer right here. Huh? So today it was a bus too. Nova.
<laughs> Best friends forever, Fu. Interesting. You're going back to your home. Damon, I love you. In 20 years, I will return. 20 years? I think this game was released in 2019, so I think... Damon, I will return. No matter what. Promise. I think this is 1999. Go, Fu. And again, I don't know what time period this is supposed to be based around. I'm just trying to process the fact in my head of, like, around the time Travis and everyone was alive. He's used his powers for good. Sir, it is time for the board meeting. We need to go back in. Just give me a minute. I've got an appointment. But I am not aware of... Just watch. You've been living large, Damon. You used our powers to get yourself a pretty sweet piece of the pie. Are you really Fu? Thanks to you, I was able to return to my land. And now here I am, a full-on prince. Congratulations. But I'm hella bored. I got nothing to do. I wiped out the neighboring planet, but then I was court-martialed and exiled to the Black Hole Prison. These dudes are my buddies. We met in the hole. Nice to meet you, everyone. Hey, Damon. Let's team up and make this planet ours. Ours? What do you mean? I'm talking about taking it over, duh! Do it! Oh, no. Jesus. What are... What did you do? Apparently, superheroes are popular in this country. So we're gonna jump on that. Right, Mr. Big Shot? Fu. What are you? I'm a goddamn superhero. Superhero? More like a mass murderer. Is that our boy, Travis? <laughs> Oh my, he has certainly... He's got a stash! Nice. Let's see. How's his pad look? It looks very similar. Okay, there's a way down. He definitely looks like a sensei, but wait. Wait a minute. This room looks different. This looks open. Also, I got a big-ass flat-screen TV, which is nice. All right, let's see what's outside. Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? 
I don't know, Looks man. Like things are gonna get weird today. You're not too far fetched with the Empire striking back. This is an empire of some kind. Hey, what a shitty town! What could possibly even be here? Like, what the hell is the prince even worried about? Eh, whatever. Let's destroy it. Oh my. What was that light? Woo! That makes a much nicer parking lot, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna build my tower right here. Okay, you go and clean up. My radar's picking up something weird. There's something real funky down below. Eh, whatever. You guys will do. Wanna go kill it for me? Okay, go find it. Fuck it up! Yeehaw! Okay. The city. It's gone. Wait, there's Bad Girl and Shinobu. Who are they? Hey, can I ask you something? Are you guys aliens? I don't think they're here to talk, Master. Oh shit! This looks like fun! Let me play! You know how to take these guys down? Beat them to fucking death! Strategy is born from battle. I'll take the one in the middle. Do whatever you want with the rest. Let me have some fun, fucking losers! Let's go! Start the game. Yeah. And like always, let's kick some fucking ass! Hey gamers! Limit your gaming to 10 hours per day. Any more? And you're seriously gonna die. Hope everyone's doing great today. Your good old girl next door, Sylvia, is going to introduce another new game today. Today's title is No More Heroes 3. After the opening sequence, okay, we will take a closer look. Gamers have but one goal. To take down the opponent in front of you. How do you feel getting beat up by an old sensei like myself? Ready? You know what to do, right? Just Damn. destroy all those nasty aliens. They're right before your eyes. I can feel Die. Lost raging. You How are you not dead? Thinking. You need to pump up that energy. Eat all the popcorn and chips you want. Drink a whole shitload of soda and play till your control air is covered in grease. You've got to kill, kill, and then kill some more. Hesitate, oh, and you are dead. Got it? Now, fight. Wait. Yeah, I know. Welcome to the Garden of Slaughter. Bam! <laughs> this beam, this new blood barrier looks bad, but now to kill you. Die! Fuck yeah! I still got it. Check this out. All right. Its atomic composition is unknown. I will expand the range of this search to include the entire galaxy. I had a hit. World ending supernova, an energy stone of the planet Jess Baptiste. So they really are aliens. Things are getting real funky real quick. Mission accomplished. That was way too easy. We're the rest of them! It's only polite to accept an invitation to kick ass. Kick ass! Master, I believe the time has come to use... it. Loading the DD system. Awaken, sister. What the fuck? Hench. Hench. Okay. 
Oh, going full Gundam. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You look good with facial Perhaps hair. You're behind enemy lines now. Huh? Gee? Have you always sounded like that? Something wrong? No. It's just... I always assumed you were a female. Are you tweaking? This is how I've always sounded. That's... Pretty badass. If there's yeah, anything is. you're not clear on, let me know. I'll lay it out for you. Ah, so you're basically my navigator, huh? Come on, man. Don't underestimate my prowess in battle. I'm right up there with pick. Yeah, let's not use that comparison anymore. It's gonna make things more confusing. As you wish. Now let's kick some tough and ass and get right into the action. <laughs> Strawberry. Raspberry. Double kill. Blueberry. Triple kill. Raspberry. Super kill. Boysenberry. Oh yeah, this feels good. I'm taking you down. Oh shit. Wait, I had... I don't know what that is. But... Screw crusher, dead kid. Oh, ho, 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 that was better. I'm gonna die. die. As you can see, things got all funky real quick. There's probably some planet-eating type dude waiting for me up ahead. All yoked and powerful and trying to take over the world or something. Oh, that's reminiscent from the first game. But don't you worry. A hero descends. What? There are no heroes in this world? Oh, but there totally are. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around. Here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. Yeah, a go. retired one at Taking that. A kill trip on death row. No more heroes three. It's me. Sylvia, is that you? You know what to do, don't you? If you want to keep living a comfortable life, kill them all. Unleash the insanity, Travis. Let it flow. The pure, primitive insanity. The Garden of Insanity is awaiting your return. I thought it was called the Garden of Madness. Okay, dashing is not that much, but... Oh, my stomach hurts. Too many beers. Oh, really? shit, I need a toilet! Perfect location. Oh yeah, don't forget. Always stop by the toilet if you find one, especially before boss fights. You need time to get your thoughts in order. Uh, so you know, save your damn game. Yeah, he's right. And let's get right into the action then, shall we? Sadly, I can't wear this coat or these glasses forever. Show me good time, okay? Don't hold back, fellas. Strong. Right on. We're done. Raspberry. Blueberry. Triple kill. Damn it. 
death glove skill. Come on. Run. Screw crusher death kick. <laughs> can't it's too hot to be wearing this Ugh. and too dark Ugh. all righty now let's get on to the Boston I don't know if I like that that's well then Let's get right into it then, shall we? Gene, where are we? In the core of the spacecraft. <sighs> so this is where the real hardcore bad guys are. What's that egg? No. You know, like in that famous movie where a monster pops out of the egg and attacks. That's a xenomorph. The egg is cracked. Something not so good is gonna come out of that thing. A xenomorph? Shit. Oh, you're a cute little guy. Come here, little buddy. Oh, you're so good at walking, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Let me pick you up, little guy. I wouldn't do that. And you're still as gullible as ever, even though you're like a middle aged man now. Where am I? This is my planet. Well, now it's a hellscape of nothing but a graveyard and a galactic waste disposal site. <laughs> this is where we grew up. My boss, Fu, he went bad shit crazy. Destroyed the whole planet. Ah, ain't that a bitch? It is indeed. So well, why then why don't you get, get revenge? revenge? Revenge against Fu? We wouldn't last three damn seconds against him! Are you okay with a life of submission? Well, that's how I've lived. It's my destiny. Rethink this. You can still go back. Go on back to space. Nope, no can do. Either way, Fu is gonna kill me. I see. Yeah, about that destiny. I'll put an end to that for you! Sounds good. <laughs> okay, wanna get started? Um, yeah, let's get right into it. And no more bullshittery. I like how there's actually boss help this time. I did want spicy. Damn it. I'm used to the right stick being the dodge. Oh god. I know. Yeah, maybe. All right, one more time. Damon, I love you.
This is going to take a while, ain't it? I did one spicy, and this is kind of interesting. This is a foe I've never faced Here before. Let's see if we can handle full armor mode. Transform! Get some! Strawberry! Right on! That's what I like to see. No shit. God. Gotta be careful. Whoa. Ooh. Ultra Instinct. Ka 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 chitaze. Oh god. I need to get those slots things. Oh. I needed to jump. Fuck. I got killed by the same damn thing. Oh yeah. Ultra Instinct mode engaged. You are done. There goes one arm. Jesus, I'm glad I had full health. Damn it. He's almost dead, too. Die! Mr. Black Hole, dead. What the hell? Travis? Oh, hey, Jane. Where is this? Inside him. We're basically in his universe. Well, that sucks. I'll begin searching for hostiles. So that asshole is hiding somewhere among these billions of stars, huh? Uh, what the hell? So this is Gene. Okay, this is a good thing. Let's see. He's kind of pointing me in the right direction, I think. Yeah, I think Gene's pointing me in the right direction. Gene, what the heck? Is he? There you are, asshole. Time to die. Now I'm gonna destroy my voice like I did in finishing off the last series. Where is he? Where the hell are you, black hole? Calm down, Travis. Go left. Left? Oh, left. <laughs> Henshi! There! Oh my. That makes sense. Full armor, Travis. Let's go. Move. Move sides here. Boost. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm gonna have some fun. Here we go! Oh, 
Kamehameha! Is he armored? Nice. No die. Mr. Brackle dead for real. Hopefully, for real, you better not come back. If you do, I'll just kill you tw ten times better. Oh, 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 you are tough. <laughs> Pretty impressive, Earthling. Don't underestimate Earthlings. Thank you. <laughs> now I've got the Travis touchdown data I needed. What data? Uh, statistics from your behavioral and strategic patterns. Fine. Do whatever you want with that. I'm more badass than a black demon. Okay, everyone. I'm leaving the rest up to you. Prince Fu. Seriously. Ever since way back when, you really... Ah, damn. Straight out of an anime explosion. Oh, that is nice art. I got an A rank. Let's go. Alligator scale? What am I going to need an alligator scale for? Apparently I got a lot of shit. Congratulations, Travis. Sylvia? Is it really you? How are the kids? You have managed to take down the number 10 ranked, Black Hole. And you have been recognized as number 10 in the galactic rankings. Number 10 in what rankings? Rules are rules. The battle has already begun. You are in the eye of the storm, so you cannot escape or just disappear. You can only fight here. So I need to win, huh? Yes. And what happens once I take everyone out? For reals? I'll do it. Please, let me do it. Okay, now go out and earn the entry fee for the next battle. Come on. Also, what are these guys? Where'd they even come from? Sorry, I'm sort of in a hurry. I'll mail you later, so be sure to check it out. Hey, wait! Sylvia, there's something I need to talk to you about. Like what? What the fuck? Hmm. What? My rank man. Oh. So Gold Joe is who I'm fighting next, huh? Well then, let's get it on then, shall we? Heroes 3? Okay. Oh! Oops. Scotty White was black, but Mr. Black. Oh, I thought I recognized that cowboy accent. Suda 51. Ranking 10. Darkness. Wow, that's a lot. In every single language possible, I believe. One is gone. Did Black Hole get killed? I see. Dead, huh? 
<laughs> That's kind of funny. It was that man. Hmm. Somebody you know? Looks like not all humans are weaklings after all. <laughs> this ought to be fun. Sir, it is time. Okay. Oh, time for a meeting? Sweet. Let me watch. Fu, wait. This is a board meeting. It's important. Oh, no. This is a bitchin' room. Nice work, Damon. You're really coming up, huh? And you even followed my orders like a good little boy, too. <laughs> Fu, I told you, this is a board meeting. Please keep quiet and sit down over there. So, these are like really capable dudes, huh? Of course. They're specialists in a wide range of... Yeah. Bunch of losers. Jesus. Uh, we're even more capable. So it's cool if I go ahead and fire these guys. Right, Damon? What have you done? Stop this! Oh, don't worry. You're a good secretary. I'll allow you to live. Ah! Okay, that's enough for the entertainment. Time for a strategy meeting. Damon, whip out the blueprints for the fighting arena. It's here. What are these blueprints? Who made these? So this city was just built without permission? Oh, come on. You've heard of LASIK before, right? Do you still remember? You mean... Ah. Taking over this planet is too simple and boring. So I decided to go with a game of conquest. <laughs> Wouldn't it be hella fun if we got some humans to take on the galactic superhero rankings? Apparently some asshole took out Black Hole. Hey, you! Secretary! Get the president on the line. The president? Did you not hear me? So, destroying the planet. That was your plan? Ever since way back then? Cute little me from back then, and the handsome ass me now? We're the same. Nothing's changed. Come on, Damon. Trust me. He is on the line, sir. Mr. President, you're gonna hold an emergency press conference. Let's make a joint announcement. I will not. Whatever you thugs are- Oh, okay then. I guess I've got no choice. Do it. I am Jess Baptiste the Sixth, AKA Fu. I'm Prince of the Baptiste system. And you can call me Lord Fool. Listen up, Earthling aliens. I'm about to conquer this planet. But simply conquering it is no fun. And there's probably gonna be some resistance. I understand you people. So I'm gonna provide you with an opportunity. We're gonna play a game. A game of conquest. I won't run or hide. I'll be a Daemon Tower in Utopia Land. Anyone is welcome. <laughs> Looks like we've got a contestant already! I don't know what army tossed that thing over this way, but I admire the motivation and the quick thinking. Nice move. Jesus. Looks like someone out there's really got some balls. However, <laughs> make no mistake. You think you can kill me with those primitive ass firecrackers? You wanna kill me? Come kill me. You'll have 10 of the most elite dudes in the galaxy awaiting you. Or, well, one of them got killed. So nine, I guess. Take us all out, and we'll go home. Otherwise, we take over. The rules are simple enough, right? All right, Mr. President. <laughs> the game of death begins. Well, shit. I may or may not be fucked. The year 2021. The huge entertainment-based theme park Wait, built in Santa Cruz. 2021. Utopia Land would no longer be holding its grand opening so. in two months. It was instead converted into the Garden of Insanity. 
and you are dead. The Colosseum that would hold the alien's game of conquest. Fu and nine of his aliens are dispatched into formation. Prepare to destroy the planet any time. Five on Earth, two in the sky, one on the moon, one in space. Fu sits in the central tower, and his nine soldiers, all recognized by the United Assassins Association, descend to Earth as the Galactic Superhero Ranking Members. The following ten have been registered as members of the rankings. Number 10, the passing assassin, Travis Touchdown. Number 9, the space ore dealer, Gold Joe. Number 8, the alien kidnapper, Black Knight Direction. Number 7, the memory thief, Vanishing Point. Number 6, the gastro cannon, Velvet Chair Girl. Hmm. Number 5, the Dark World Princess. Midori Midori Kawa. Hmm. Number four, the Galactic Sniper Champion, Sniping Lee. Ooh, I like his design. Number three, the Demon God, Sonic Juice. Sonic Juice. Number huh? two, the Master of Explosion, Paradox Bandit. Okay. Number one, our own King of Destruction, Jess Baptiste the Sixth. I like to see you go against a god of destruction, not just a king. The ultimate battle of top class space criminal versus assassin is about to kick off. I like how they actually look like modeled toys and action figures. The hell? What is this trippy, trippy ass cutscene? They really want you to know the game you're playing, damn. No more than 10 hours of gaming per day. What? Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. It was designed exactly according to your input. You could show a bit of appreciation, you know. Did I not just say... not... bad? I'll help with the next one, too. Mr. Gold Joe has arrived. Ooh, let him in. All right. Golden Goro looking ass. Lord Fu! Gold Joe is back! That earthling called Travis. I'm leaving him to you. Oh, I'm honored. All the credit shall go to you, of course. What's that? It was dug out of a nebula behind the Milky Way. It's Galactica Rolling Thunder Rainbow! It's got a nice shine to it. I'll take good care of it. It'll give you great power. Now, I'll go destroy that Earthling myself. He's much weaker than you, but be careful. He's a wily bastard. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Don't kill him off too quickly. Ooh, a quick kill! That sounds like a nice plan. I'm going out. Where to? Hmm. Wait, is it? This game just turned into a giant infomer. Oh my god! Stop! I've already seen it once. I don't want to see it all again. So, what do you think about Miike's latest production? 
The girls' series was a proving ground. Miike used it to help him get to the next stage. It's like a treasure chest of production. By preparing so many different stages to test out just how far Japanese CG technology can go, he's pouring his passion into the improvement of systematized techniques. Damn, Travis. You really hit the nail on the head. The incubator of the new idol chosen in the audition, that's just as transient for him. And nobody notices that the true awesomeness of Miike is in the fact that he used this film shoot as a way to further his own technical staff. So basically, in the next Yakuza apocalypse-style full-on Miike film, these systematized techniques are really going to come alive, right? Miike is a greedy dude. A hella greedy dude. That Takashi Miike, man. Huh? I guess they're here. Looks like it's about time to get to work. Yeah. Let's go. Who is that? You got new... Okay. Oh, oh, there's my wardrobe. Let's see. Let's see. A jacket would be cool. Relax. Oh my god, yes! I don't care what you say, I'm going with this fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I gotta go with this one. Just to have... Uh, just to see so, uh, this old man kick ass is just funny to me. In this attire. Which one? I was a bit worried there. I wouldn't be able to see this uh, attire again. But I think it looks a lot funnier. Sup, assassin. You the one who killed my buddy? I saw you on TV, Prince. What a lame-ass little speech. That shit was just stupid. We had our own Miike night over here. Thanks to that, I came to the conclusion that Andromedia deserves to be reevaluated. Ugh. Keep talking all you want. You're already dead. Well, close enough anyway. Because you've pissed me off. When the conversation stops, that's when you die. Oh, so you're challenging me, huh? You talk a pretty big game, Prince Dumbass. You, a human, ridicule me? That shall not stand. I'm tired of all this ranking bullshit. All I gotta do is take Prince Dumbass's head off and it's over. Bring it on. I'll give you a little kiss. This is over. I'll show you how it ends. Let's go! Shinobu. Shinobu? Get away from him! Jesus. Her spine's... First her arm, now her spine. Jesus. I need to get stronger. No. <laughs> Both her arms. Jesus. Back off, fucking punk. It's that dude. James, who the hell are you? Can I play as that dude with the bat? I know he's from the uh, Travis about Strikes about Again game, but now it's my turn. Where are you? Hey, assassin. This a friend of yours? Let him go. He's got nothing to do with this. You're here for me. That doesn't make any sense. You killed my buddy, right? And so, well, this is how it's gotta be.
Yeah, I've never played this game, really sadly. Fucked. You goddamn scumbag! <laughs> now we're even! <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Hey, assassin! Come see me, and I'll give you a little kiss. Son of a bitch! <laughs> That's what I like to see! But don't forget, you're a scumbag too. You're not getting away! Henshin! What the hell? Henshin! Your hand's bloody. Whoa. Fuck! Pull through it. Shinobu! Wait a minute. No way. Holy shit. Shinobu is the most iconic and... Oh, fuck. Looks like I was too late. <gasps> Dad? Oh, God, I remember. So, are we all dead now? Is that how it ends? Where is he? Old man. Shinobu. This is my old apartment. Or motel room. Holy shit it is. Fucking... Wait, floor one? What's going on downstairs? Wait, I can go to the lab? Might be a good idea to, to go to the lab. Where's Shinobu? She is still unconscious, but her chances of recovery are improving. She is in stable condition now. She survived. Good. What about the old man? Shinobu, come on, wake up. Damn. Sylvia. Hmm, that rage. Did something happen? They got Shinobu. Yes, she is a rambunctious one too. She was drawn to the Garden of Slaughter as well. Enough talk. Now let me at those sons of bitches. Ah, the ranking battles, hmm? But Travis, first you have to clear a test battle. Otherwise, you cannot participate in the ranked battles. Then hurry the fuck up and make it happen. You are so serious. Was she so special to you? Now spare me your bullshit. Okay, then. Preparations for the test match are complete. Off to perfect world. Perfect world, huh? Well, thanks. Menu screen. Mails you Under Technique Motonalize, Dr. Naomi's Laboratory. Here you can use power up machines to double up your as well as create a and equip death glove chips. It's also equipped with a tutorial. Wait, wait. You can learn various commands. You can even jump into the time machine for. Fuck yeah! Rematches are a thing. That's nice. Be sure to visit often and keep yourself in fighting shape. You can slide on down. Yeah, 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 yeah. ZR, ZR, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Alright, now. Come on, keep putting it Okay, now I just need to go to an ATM, huh? Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. Let's get right over to where we need to go. Ah, right there. It's an ATM. So, well, wrong button. I'm used to pressing A to go. Alright, let's go. 
I'm used to everything being breakable, but apparently in this game nothing is breakable except for the cars. Alright, I'll transport them in. Well then. I don't know why, but I find it mildly hilarious when Travis no, is in this form. I've known you for a long time. Oh, the Gold family has served the Royal family for about 23,700 years now. It has been pretty long. This is apparently a specialty of this planet. These humans line up for more than two hours for this shit. <gasps> and you got some just for me? I had Damon's secretary line up for it. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> long lines. Oh, wow. How delicious. These little balls. Is this stuff really that good? Damon gave me some once, back in the day. I liked milk better. So, you two are like super close friends, right? You and Damon? Yeah, we're real close. <gasps> How nice. You're a good friend, too. Sorry I got you mixed up in this fight, especially when you helped me break out. Ah, friend, I'm so honored. I will give you my life, your majesty. Life isn't something you give away. It's something you protect. Your majesty. Hmm, these little balls, they kind of grow on you. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know what they're drinking entirely, but I'd assume it's soda with ice in it, but I could be very wrong. Hot damn. Uh, just end user team require an entry fee. In the instance, the ranking medals will appear. Okay. Got it. Alright. Anything. Gene, I'm hungry. Of course you're hungry. Damn, Gene. Meow. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the next ranking battle already? Shit. This time it's Violets. I didn't know they would come to me. Assassin is Gold Joe. He is a space ore dealer. He smuggles and sells hazardous ores and minerals. The ores are made into weapons of mass destruction. So he is a threat to the peace and safety of the galaxy. Go crazy, Travis. Welcome to the Garden of Insanity. What's wrong with saying the Garden of Madness? I guess after desperate struggle, we went beyond insane after the death of our buddy Bishop. I guess I, I really don't know how to eat sushi in this game, but anywho, let's get on to the fight. This is totally different from the last spaceship. So if their technology is different, it means these guys have all come from different planets. This sounds dangerous. We gotta think of a way to strike back. Just remember that Earth also counts as a planet in space. Bloodthirsty people are generally the same everywhere. Now come on, let's go. My hyper modern artwork. I project images relevant to one another onto physical matter, making it seem as though there's a beautiful space existing right there. It's cutting edge magic. So, projection mapping, right? I'm already sick of seeing that shit. With this sort of thing, from like the second time you see it, your brain already understands what's going on. You can't not see it as fake. Oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity pop! 
You guys on Earth are really something. To think that you'd be ahead of us in this sort of artwork? Also, that's way too much time wasted on something like simple projection mapping. Don't waste budget money on shit like this. <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity pop! Criticized? And by an Earthling? Well, judging by what I see, I'm assuming you use magnets, huh? <gasps> oh, snap! Snap, crackle, and pippity poppity poopity pop! So you're gonna use blue and red magnetic north-south to bust out some just slightly puzzlish attacks, right? Damn! Snap, crackle, and got damn! That's what I thought. Bingo. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there. For red, throw up an N mark above your head and throw up an S for blue. That'll make it simpler. Gamers like that kind of thing. Hmm. I don't know if I can do exactly as you say, but I'll try my best. Nice. Now show me a good time. Damn. Jesus. I see the stars. That was quick. Don't let me down, dude. Okay, of course it had to get worse. But damn, that was quick. Wait, did that just say DVD on his um, gauntlet thing? Ow, ow, ow. Jesus. What? Huh? What? His are based on color, he said. What the fuck does he mean by that? Alright. One more time. Of course, I'm getting unlucky every time. Oh, that's what he meant. I have to switch the color. Okay, this is... I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Okay. Now die. Maybe switch to it. Now die. Wow, this okay now it makes sense. This guy's a lot easier, I'm gonna say. As long as I don't con I I, that, as long as I don't allow him to connect those attacks, then I should be fine. Damn it. Strawberry. Right on. Let's get him. I am invincible. Invincible.
My god, this guy's a lot easier now. Compared to the black hole guy, he's a lot easier now. No, I'm not gonna stop. Anything new? Hold on. I am invincible! Invincible! I say it's a lot easier, but <sighs> and it bites me in the ass. Oh yeah, this boss is a hell of a lot easier once you get the hang of it. Oh my god, that almost killed him. Oh my god, he's gonna die, like, almost instantly. Now die! Now you're half the being you used to be. Now that is hard to live with. Go, Joe. Dead. Ooh. Is this the shit you've been smuggling? Wow, you're a real shitty guy, huh? Um, you probably shouldn't touch that stuff. It's super dangerous. It'll melt stuff. Like, everything? That's why it makes such good money. <laughs> All right, then. Bon appetit! No! Anything but that! That's dangerous! Like, seriously dangerous! Ah! I, I was Jesus. Damn. It's the ones who don't look like bad guys who are the real bad guys. I guess he's true in that matter. Oh my. <laughs> I like how he went from old man and it just switches to his. Um, holy shit, I got an S rank on that? I knew I was good, but damn. Congratulations. You have been recognized as number nine in the galactic rankings. What's that light? Is it flying? Well, you guys are up. You know, I never actually knew those dudes' names till now. The Same here. Going to keep going, right? So we kind of had to give them names. Council style, huh? You like it, don't you? Yeah, not bad. But whatever. This is space, right? Can we do the small talk later? Space? You're still at the number nine spot. You've got a ways to go. Okay, yeah. But before all that, I want to ask you something. Also, I need to talk to you. You want to ask me something? Why are you helping them? Is it because it's your job? It is for you. I mean, being your wife and all. I do what I can to help my husband out. What does that even mean? These guys are basically evil aliens. We do not know when they might swarm Earth. So we need some kind of order here. Yeah, that's true. 
If we're using the same type of ranking system as usual, then I've got a lot more experience. That is why the UAA is running this thing. Damn, Sylvia. Are the kids doing okay? We do not have time. I will set up the match for the next ranking battle. Make sure you kill them dead. Sylvia, I still need to talk to you. About what? Besides the kids? Ironically, I'm kind of curious of what Travis's kids look like. The hell? I don't know if I should be impressed by the art style or tripped out. Shinobu? Gene. Let me guess, Travis. Hell yeah. I'm sorry, but that's a... Damn it. Get out of the way, text. That is a badass picture. I'm sorry, I had to take a picture of that. That's not a bad picture either. Why are you... Okay. I'm not gonna question it. My recommended superfood is golden milk. Okay. Why is it doing it like in this anime style? It's kind of weird, but makes sense in some shape of... Your guest has arrived. Mr. Black Knight Direction. Ha! <laughs> Let him in. All right. And just who do we have next? The Emperor of the Night. What? Do you doubt our power? No, no. That's not what I meant. I was hoping I could be of help. You want to help? Then sit there quietly. Overlord looking ass. Lord Fu, I am honored to get to see you again. Any wish of yours is old Black Knight Direction's command. Travis must be dealt with. I'm leaving him to you. Don't let me down. I will not let you down. Ironically, the voice is fitting. Makes me think of Overlord. No, we're not going through this again. What's in the EK's best film? That'd be Gozu. What do you think? Gozu, of course! What's the most badass Miike film then? Dead or Alive? You? Shield of Straw. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> What's the most fucked up Miike film? Audition, right? I'd say, um, Visitor Q. Oh shit, I haven't seen that one. For reals? Oh, <laughs> you gotta see Visitor Q. Let me borrow it. Nope, you're totally gonna keep it. I'll give it back. Come on, you know I will. Hell no, you always steal my shit after borrowing it. Okay, then check this out. I'll lend you the whole Kaoru Chan series. <sighs> Riki is so badass. Yeah, Riki is hella badass. Why did Hollywood pass him by like that? The MCU should bring Riki in. Oh, that'd be the shit. So there's Travis and is that Bishop on the left there? Resurrected? Whatever the fuck it is. Riders RK. Gold Joe. Wait, I got a new clothing. Riders RK. What does that mean? Which one? Oh shit. I kinda like it. I like the jacket. It's nice. I still like the kind of relaxed look of Travis. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to call that an episode of No More Heroes 3. The beginning and finale of the series. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you don't want to miss out on any more action like this, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't have to miss out on any sort of action or stupidity uh, you see on my channel. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!